champions, but Middlesbrough. Even for a match as important as this, manager Graham Taylor hadn't forgotten the supporters' loyalty in a season where home form had left a great deal to be desired. Bradford City seemed intent on robbing that in with an early burst. John Hendry fired over after a neat turn on the six-yard line. Villa's riposte was City-assisted. Gavin Oliver's back pass was perfect for Warren Aspinall, but he couldn't apply the finish. Aspinall was handed another chance to open the scoring when Kevin Gage set him up, but again the chance went begging. But the clincher came midway through the first half. Gage's cross was met firmly by David Platt. It signalled on pitch celebrations that Alan Evans attempted to keep in check. Platt had the ball in the net again shortly before the break, only to see it ruled out for an infringement. It's almost a case of per many one from four. Ian Botham was taking advantage of Worcestershire's early finish against Nottinghamshire, but the commitment of the second half led to only one clear-cut opportunity. It fell to Ian Ormondroyd of Bradford, but Gage was handily placed. At the whistle, the tension of the final minutes disappeared, and supporters proclaimed a hard-earned win. But with Middlesbrough winning at Barnsley, there's nothing else to celebrate.